I'm going to show you how you can use the Group Policy Modeling Wizard to easily simulate which group policy objects are applied to specific users and computers. So to start, if we open up our Group Policy Management and we come to our Group Policy Objects, in my domain, I've got a handful of Group Policy Objects. And what I want to do is check which of these objects are being applied to a specific user when they log into a specific device. So to do that, we can use Group Policy Modeling so if we right click it, we can open the group policy modeling wizard. And then what we can do is we can select one of our domain controllers. And then we can enter a user or a computer or the container that the user or a computer is within. And then we can simulate what happens when that user logs in and see which group policies actually get applied. So for this example, if we select user and then I enter my user account. And then I want to see what happens if the user account Danny logs into the workstation server 2022. So if I enter those in there and then press next, we can configure a few more simulation options. So we can either select if it's a slow network connection, if we've got loopback processing enabled, either in replace or merge mode, or if they are part of a site. So once we've set those, we can press next. If we want, we can specify alternate Active Directory paths. So this will be used if, for instance, the user is currently in the user's OU, but I want to move the user to a different OU. I can see what would happen and what group policies then get applied. The same with the computer location. This device is currently in the server's OU, but if I wanted to move it, for instance, to the workstation's OU, I could check which group policies then get applied. I'm just going to leave these as defaults because I want to check how it is now and then press next. It's detected the four security groups that my user account is in. If I want, I can simulate either adding different security groups or removing some of the existing ones. This doesn't change the groups that the user is actually a member of. This just simulates that. I'm just gonna leave that as default. I can do the same with the computer. So the computer that I've selected is currently within these three security groups. And if I wanted to, I could simulate and either add different ones or remove these three. You can also set up WMI filters. So if a GPO has a WMI filter, this can also simulate that. The same with the computers. So that previous one was for WMI filters for users. This one is the WMI filters for computers. And then this is just a summary of what we have specified. And then we can press next to run the simulation. Now that's finished, we can press finish. And now under group policy modeling, we've got a new model for Danny on server 2022. So if we select that, we can come over and we can see our summary. And if we expand all, we can see that the summary is when this was last generated. And then if we scroll down, we can see all of the group policy objects that are applied and the name of the GPO that has applied them. So we can see if the user account Danny logs into server 2022, it will get these policies. And then if we keep scrolling down, we can see that it's going to get our Windows Server Lockdown GPO. And it's going to get our User Lockdown and any other of the policies. So we can easily check what policies are being applied. We can then go to the Details tab. And this will just give us a bit more information on what policies and settings are being applied. And then the same for the query. This will just tell us what was actually run. So this query is based on the user account ad backslash danny and the computer ad backslash server 2022. So I've run this based on a specific user logging into a specific computer. However, you can do this based on organizational units. So if we run through a quick one and then select this domain controller again, I can say for the user information, we can select a container. So if I select my users OU, and then for the computer container, I will select my workstations OU. What this will do is this will simulate what will happen to any user within the user's OU, logging into any workstation within the workstation's OU. I can also skip to the final page of the wizard because I don't want to configure any of them other options that were further down the wizard. And then I can press next. This will tell me what's been configured. And if I, again, and then again, if I press next, it will run the simulation and then I can press finish. So now we've got a new model for users logging onto workstations. And if I come over to the summary, it will again just generate that information to show which GPOs are being applied. 
and which group policy objects and settings are being applied. Now, if we come back to the group policy modeling, we can actually see now we've got multiple models set up. So you can set up multiple variations of these. So you can see for either individual users or different situations. And then if you ever make any changes to your group policy objects, all you need to do is come back to the model and then you can right click and then rerun the query. And then that will just re-simulate it. It'll update the information here and then show us what changes have been made. So that is a quick overview on how to use the group policy modeling to identify which GPOs are being applied to which users and computers.